Good morning, what's up? Welcome back to my vlog channel. It's Sunday and today I'm going to be filming for my main channel. That's pretty much all that's on my agenda today. The video I'm filming today is switching houses with my mom. So basically she's gonna come and sleep at my house for a night and I'm gonna go sleep at hers. And I'm so, so, so excited for it. I'm very familiar with her house, but she's not very familiar with my house at all. Like she just never like spends time here. So I can't wait to see what it's like. I'm about to start filming that in a few hours. So all I really have to do right now is just clean up my house my house isn't exactly messy i just have a bunch of things around like i got a bunch of things yesterday and i just have to put them away like i did this campaign with voss where i donated a bunch of bottles to a hospital and you guys can check out the like whole thing on my instagram i'll leave my instagram link down below as usual and then yesterday i also got an espresso machine which i am so 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 excited for you probably already know this i literally struggle to make a good latte every single single day of my life like I always struggle with making good coffee and so I was like you know I'm done with instant coffee I'm done with Keurig cups I need to go for the espresso machine so you know I bought one and I don't know how to use it but I'm gonna figure it out and I'm very excited to actually make some quality coffee so I almost finished cleaning but I'm just doing my makeup now I'm like halfway through I'm currently on bronzer I look so pale right now like my lips are legit so pale much better, much better. I just postmated some coffee and I'm waiting for it to come. I honestly like really want some coffee and I just don't wanna try my whole espresso machine right now because I feel like I actually need to like sit down and like try to like figure it out and figure out how to use it for the first time. And right now I just don't have the time for that because I have to like be ready in, in like an hour to film. But um, right now I'm just watching some YouTube. I've been watching like Alicia Marie and Remy's vlogs. I'm just addicted to vlogs. Like it's literally all I watch nowadays. Put your hand in mine, I will be there every day. When you're sick of the climb, I will make sure it's okay. I didn't ask for any of this, but we reach for the sky. Okay, so I'm done with makeup now. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything to my hair. I might just leave it or straighten it, but my coffee is here. So I'm gonna go down and get that. I'm very, very, very excited. Okay, so I got my coffee and I literally fill it up to the very, very top. Like, oh my God, it's literally about to spill. Um, also look at my straw. It's so cute. It says, but first coffee on it. With my coffee order, I tried to order a bag of espresso so that I could use it with my espresso machine, but I accidentally ordered the wrong bag of coffee. I got the drip whole bean coffee instead of the espresso coffee. And I can't return this because like stuff is really complicated right now and they're not even letting people go inside the store and I don't even wanna like go and try to attempt to return it. So I literally placed another Postmate order for the espresso beans and it's gonna be here soon. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? Why can't I just place a proper Postmates order? At first I was so mad. I was like, oh my God, did they just really give me the wrong beans? But then I went on the app and I was like, wait, no, I messed up. So, oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I can't believe I did this. I literally waited like 40 minutes for my coffee and then it gets here and now, and now I can't even have it because it's on the counter. And I spilled it on my new hoodie. Oh my god, oh my god. Everything's just like totally fine. The craziest stuff has literally happened in the last like 10 minutes. I don't even like know what to say. I'm like so stressed out right now. I'm like, oh my god. Not to be a negative Nancy or anything, but like, oh my god, I'm so stressed out. Like, I forgot that I had to post my YouTube video. Don't hate on me, please. I have a bad habit of like, needing to do a bunch of things and I like space out for 20 minutes and I like forget I have to do all those things and then I'm just like wait like why is like why am I like so stress free right now and then I realize it's because like I forgot all the 20 things that I have to do and like oh my so my bag of espresso finally arrived so now I have two bags of coffee I don't know what the drip coffee is but I'm sure I'll make use of it at some point but I'm excited to finally use my espresso machine tomorrow or in a few days okay so it's way later right now and I'm at my mom's house um I last talked to you guys like six hours ago but basically I just ended up leaving the house and and while I'm here my mom is currently at my house we basically just gave each other like a list of things to do at each other's houses and so I have a list that she gave me to do and she has a list that I gave her to do and I want to tell 
tell you guys so many things that happened in the video but I don't want to like reveal it yet because I want to put out this vlog like as soon as possible and this vlog is going to go out before the actual video comes out but do stay tuned for it. The video is going to come out Sunday so be ready. I don't want to reveal too much but I'll share with you some of the things. Basically um, my mom got me another birthday present. She basically got me this Versace robe. That was one tiny thing in the video. That's not really switching lives though. That's just like another thing in it. Right now I actually have some packages that I want to open. I'm literally still receiving packages in the mail and still will be receiving packages in the mail for my 24 hour online shopping challenge. If you didn't watch that video, I'll leave a little card to the video right here and I'll leave a link down below. Basically I did this video where I did online shopping for 24 hours, <laughs> kind of crazy. But I have two packages here. I know this one is from Urban Outfitters because it says on the box, but I don't know where this one's from. It says Sullivan's on it, but I don't know what Sullivan's is. This package is from Wayfair and now I actually know what it is. I remember ordering this. Also, my nails are literally like done for. Like I don't know what to do. As you can see right here, I have two broken nails. Literally look, two broken nails. And then, I don't know if you can see, it's literally about to break and it's so hard to do anything. And I really just don't know what to do with my nails. You girls out there know the struggle right now, especially if you have acrylics. Like I need to get my nails done, but I can't. Like one, the stores are closed. And two, even if I found somebody to come to my house and do it, like it's just not safe. And I'm so bad at nails. I do not want to have to do that, but I think it's my only option. Like I really don't know what to do. If you guys have acrylics, let me know what you're doing for them because I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so excuse the little white dots. It's just part of the packaging, but basically this is what I got from Wayfair. It's just a little like kind of like upside down vase. If you want to know what this is called, basically this is a cloche, C-L-O-C-H-E. I just call this an upside down vase because what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to put um, fake succulents down and then I'm going to like put this over it and it's going to look so cool. I'm either going to put it on these new bookshelves that I ordered or I'm going to do it like on my kitchen counter or something. It's just going to look so nice. I'll put some photos of what they look like on the screen right here so you guys can see what I'm saying. But I'm so excited to use this at my house. And if any of you guys want this, let me know and I could give you the link in the description because this is so cute. Look at all of this packaging that they use just to give me this thingy. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. So I ended up ordering sweet green and it's finally here. And basically I just got a little grain bowl. Instead of getting a salad, I got my base as quinoa and rice instead of like lettuce. Just, just because I wanted something more like, I don't know, like more filling. So this is basically my sweet green. It looks so good. And I'm just going to dive into this now, but I'll talk to you guys later. So it's the next morning right now. And I haven't vlogged since last night, but basically last night, I just like spent the rest of the night at my mom's house. But last night, since I was like at my mom, I ended up doing a whole like cooking it with Nina segment last night. And then I ended up working out and I had such a great time at my mom's house, but I'm happy to be back home now. I just got here like an hour ago and I've just been chilling, having some juice, some serenity juice. Because, you know, I feel like I need to be refreshed. AKA I kind of like ate a whole pint of ice cream last night. What I'm so, so, so excited for today. I'm so excited that I'm finally like getting to use this. I've been wanting to use one of these for a while. You guys know I've been wanting to actually learn how to like make a good latte for a long time. I'm gonna open all this up and I'm gonna like try to learn how it works and then I'll see you when I'm making a latte. <laughs> okay, so I finally have the espresso machine ready and I watched a tutorial on how to use it and I'm pretty confident that I could use it properly. Okay, I washed everything in my machine so I'm good on that. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill this filter with espresso and this is a double shot because you're supposed to use double shots for lattes okay so I filled the whole entire thing up and I'm just using espresso for my favorite coffee shop right here because I'm trying to recreate my favorite latte and then I'm just going to press in the espresso I'm supposed to turn this to the right but like it's not going maybe this is all the way to the right okay this works right now now we just wait for the espresso to come out and I feel like I'm not doing something right okay so now I'm just waiting for everything to come out and this thing is vibrating like crazy I don't know if that's normal. Is this normal? Okay, so the water is finally coming out. These are basically my espresso cups for now because I don't have any. So the machine's finally set up and we're ready to go. Okay, so now that's in and we're going. Okay, I'm gonna get another cup put under. Yay! Okay, come out. Yes, it's coming out! Yes! <gasps> Oh my god, it's coming out of the wrong hole. I don't think it's sealed. Oh my god, oh my god. 
I can't do anything right, can I? Oh my god, why is it not coming out of the right hole? What did I do wrong? Did I like not seal it properly? I don't know why I got so much espresso. Like why is there so much in here? I think I'm only supposed to use half of this. Well, either way, we brewed our first shot of espresso. <laughs> Yeah, we did it! And we only had some minor complications. So now I'm going to actually like put the latte together. I'm gonna, oh my god, oh my god, no, oh my god. I'm, I'm such a mess! Okay, so I'm gonna get some ice. Okay, that's a good amount of ice. I'm going to put some milk in. And I ran out of almond milk, so instead of using that, I'm going to use this golden milk from Creation. It's almond milk, but it just has turmeric, black pepper, honey, and vanilla extract added. So it's, it's kind of like a superfood almond milk. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to add a bit of this. And then I'm going to add my vanilla syrup. I don't know how much to add, so I'm just going to like... And then now I'm going to add my espresso in. I don't know how much espresso to add. Like, I really don't know how much to add, but I think I'm going to aim for, like, half of that because I think I brewed, like, two shots. Oh, my God, I'm doing this so wrong, aren't I? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go with that and then mix it. Ooh, okay, that looks so good. Okay, so let's try this. Oh my god, that's actually so good. Wow. I made a good latte The only thing that I would change about this is next time I wouldn't use the golden milk just because you can like taste the superfoods in it But like I'm so proud of myself right now Like I really made this latte like you guys have seen how bad my lattes have been in the past and wow like look <laughs> But I was only able to do this thanks to you guys You left so many comments like telling me how I should make the latte and all that and thank you so much for helping me with this experience of just like making a good latte you know i'm just gonna do a little haul right now because i have a bunch of packages to open all these packages are actually from my 24 hour online shopping challenge so if you watch that video you know what i'm gonna be hauling and also if you haven't watched that video make sure to go watch it i'll leave a card right here or link it down below I love that video so much, so please go watch it on my main channel. But um, I have a package from Urban Outfitters here, a package from Wayfair, a package from Morphe, and then lastly, I have a package from Sigma. I'm gonna go with the Urban Outfitters one first. I already know what this is, and I'm pumped for it. I actually just placed an order at Urban Outfitters like last night. Like, I keep placing so many orders from there. I ordered a bunch of things from Urban Outfitters, but they've all been like shipping separately. So I got this makeup brush washer, and I've just seen this all over TikTok as a beauty blender washer. And so I got this because recently I've been obsessed with like washing brushes. I've been trying to wash my brushes all the time just so that they're very like fresh when they go on my face. And I feel like washing your makeup brushes is just so satisfying. And that's all I got from Urban. But speaking of washing makeup brushes, I ordered a bunch of stuff from Sigma so that I could wash my brushes i actually ran out of all my brush washing stuff like a week ago so i had to restock myself on everything and i also got some new things to like upgrade my brush washing experience i ordered a vanity a few weeks ago and all of a sudden i feel like a beauty guru <laughs> but basically the first thing that i got is just the sigma magic foam brush shampoo and this is the brush shampoo that i use for all my brushes i like it because it's like foamy and it's just like nice and just so easy to use and it works really well and then the next thing that i got is this um, brush cleaning mat. If you watch my vlog where I was cleaning my makeup brushes, you would know I use this like tiny little brush cleaner. I'll insert a photo of one on the screen right here. But um, I thought I'd upgrade from the tiny little brush cleaner and get this mat that you can like put in the sink. This is just gonna be so nice because it's like way bigger and I can just like, I'll have a lot more space and all of that. So I'm very excited for this. And then the next thing that I got is this little tower for drying your brushes. And I got this brush tower because I can just put so many brushes in here. Like it looks like I can fit about like 50 in here and this is all the space that they're gonna take up instead of like taking up my whole bathroom. So I'm very, very excited to use this that's like the last item item that i got but lastly they just sent me some samples like they sent me this little pamphlet and then they sent me a gel eyeliner and then um they sent me a sample of their liquid brush cleaner and i'll try this because I want to try their like liquid one too because I got the foam. I say that I'm going to try it, but like I never end up using my samples. So let's see. I'm very, very excited about all this stuff because this is definitely going to upgrade my brush cleaning experience. And so moving on from Sigma, but still in the beauty category, I got one thing from Morphe. 
from Morphe. I just got this Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Christmas Cookie. Everybody has their like favorite like lip shades and my two favorites are Velvet Teddy by MAC and Christmas Cookie by Jeffree Star. And I ran out of Christmas Cookie so you already know I had to restock. If you know any lip shades that are similar to Velvet Teddy by MAC and Christmas Cookie by Jeffree Star, let me know because I'm always looking for more lip shades that are like the same but different. You know what I mean? Like same, same but different. So let me know. But that's all that I got. So I'm gonna try out the Beauty Blender cleaner right now. And I'm gonna try it out on Beauty Blender and maybe a brush. So I'm looking at the directions and it just says put some water and soap into this part of the washer. So I'm just gonna put, um, I don't know how much to put, but I'm just gonna like put a little bit of water in here. And then I'm also going to add some soap in here and I'm just gonna use the sample that they sent me. It's actually coming in handy. I haven't used a beauty blender in a while, so I'm gonna go find one of my beauty blenders. Oh my god, okay. I literally do not have any in here. I only have the small one. So I guess I'm just gonna clean this. We'll see what it does. <laughs> I'm gonna put the beauty blender in here and then I'm just going to turn it on. And let's see how this goes. I don't know how long you're supposed to let this go for, but I'm gonna let it go for like two minutes. I'm waiting for the two minute mark. Okay, so it's been two minutes now, and so I'm just going to stop it and then take it out and see what it looks like. I don't feel that much coming out of it. Like, I feel like I'm having to do most of the work after. Okay, so this is the after, and I feel like it didn't do that amazing of a job, and I feel like I shouldn't judge it on this because this is a beauty blender that I probably used like two times, but I'm gonna try it on a makeup brush. I'm gonna use this um, eyeshadow brush that I've used a ton of times, and I'm just gonna stick it in here and turn it on. I don't know if you're supposed to leave the top on, but I'm so confused on how you're supposed to wash actual brushes in here because you can't close the top. Okay, I think it's, is it done? Oh my god, it's clean! <gasps> oh my god, okay, this brush is literally so clean. It was literally brown before and now it's white. And that was actually easy because I didn't really have to do much myself. I'm also gonna try it out on a foundation brush because I really struggle with these. And if this can fully clean the foundation brush easily, then this machine is incredible. <laughs> I think the machine is struggling right now because the brush is too big. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna take this out now. I left this in there for about like two minutes and it's not purely white, but it does feel pretty clean and it's so hard to clean foundation brushes. So I'm honestly happy with it. I know I'm not a beauty guru, but I have tested out this machine and I would rate this a solid eight out of 10. And it was only $15, which really isn't that much. So I would totally recommend getting one of these. I got it on Urban Outfitters. <laughs> and now that I'm done with the brushes, I can put them on here to dry them. I'm honestly loving this new brush cleaning system that I have, like we've upgraded. So I feel like I've done so much today. I'm gonna end this vlog off here. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn your post notifications on. Also make sure to check out my main channel and my Instagram, I'll leave everything linked down below. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye. Excuse my nails. <laughs>